what if you inherit a Facebook group that's rather large um, but inactive, or maybe you created a group in the past and you want to revive it? So what are my recommendations? I mean, one pathway that has been suggested is to create a second group and just encourage the active people to go into the second group and just kind of nurture the second group. I mean, that's okay. Um, it's not, that, that wouldn't be my first strategy. I would try something different first for a couple months before we go to that route of just kind of abandoning this, this group. So here's what I suggest. Um, you can create an event inside the group, a Facebook event inside the group and invite everyone to the event. Um, and the event could be a, a webinar, Q&A session, or even simply like a special live video that's uh, maybe, maybe longer than a few minutes. It's gonna, you know, let's say a live <coughs> Facebook live video you're going to do inside the group that's going to be like have some Q&A or some engagement component. I think it's, it's worth um, creating a Facebook event in the group to invite everyone. Because when you invite everyone to the Facebook event, it, um, it should still uh, notify. I mean, some people may have turned off notifications, but it should still notify them. So, you know, even though they haven't been in the group for, for years, hopefully now they'll see a notification that is um, different than the original group notification. So that's one thing to try. The second thing is, uh, yes, Facebook lives, doing a Facebook live as an admin in the group uh, will probably have more algorithmic bump than just some random person doing a, a video or live in the group. So definitely try that as well. I also think about how do we then sustainably reach them or reliably reach them going forward. And of course, I think about the only reliable way to reach people on Facebook is through, say it with me, Facebook ads. <laughs> okay, so how, but the problem with Facebook ads is you can't target group members. That's why I don't have a Facebook group. You notice, watch, watch what I do, not just what I say. Hopefully what I do is what I say the same thing. I don't have a free Facebook group because you can't, I only have paid Facebook groups, not free ones because you can't target. Anyway, so, the, but the way to do that, sort of like a, like, a, like a hack, is to put a interesting video, upload your, an interesting video to your Facebook page, business page, upload it to there, and then share that business page video in the group so that if they watch the business page video from within the group, you know, or just on their newsfeed, right? They're, they're, they're a group member. They see that, you know, you have posted as a group member a, a video, which is a Facebook page video. And then they watch the Facebook page video even for three seconds. Now you've got them in your warm audience. So that's kind of the hack for how do you build a Facebook ad warm audience in a Facebook group. So in other words, maybe a way to combine what I've just said is to create a Facebook event, invite everyone to a Facebook Live that's gonna happen, but have the live happen in your Facebook business page, which is then shared. So you have to do a couple things. One, create the event um, with, uh, create the event. And um, in fact, you could even create the event and say, hey, everyone excited, we're gonna revive this group. The Facebook Live for kind of longevity purposes is going to stay, is going to be on my Facebook business page because, of course, you can run Facebook ads on that live video in the future. So it's going to be on the Facebook business page. Come over to the business page to view the live video at this date, at this time. And a few of them, of course, will then click onto your business page. And even just landing on your business page means you're going to be able to interact or run Facebook ads to them in the future. That's okay. That's a prep preparatory steps. Um, when you finally go live on the business page, you need to take a moment right then and there and share the business page video into the group. You know, and you can always trim the video later so that you don't have the initial minute of fumbling around with sharing things in the group. But you have to go live first and then share in the group. And that way, some of the group members are gonna catch that um, in, the, uh, in, in, the, in the group itself. So that's what I would do, stuff like that, um, before you say, because the thing is, um, even if a group, a Facebook group is inactive, um, when you start activating it and there is engagement in the group, the algorithm will help the inactive members see the stuff. And essentially, it's almost like you're building a new group 
from within an inactive group. You don't have to start a new group for this purpose because then you have to start a new group. You have to try to get everyone to move over to the new place. And you have to approve membership. It's just like, it's like a whole other admin you know, process over here. Whereas why don't you just stay with the group and you know, use it that way? So let me know if that helps. <laughs> and yes, and Shweta, thank you for mentioning that um, you know, what you've been doing is having them register on Zoom for a Zoom meeting Zoom meeting, you know, so that they can engage verbally or, or visually uh, besides the chat as well. And then you go, you, you use Zoom to go Facebook live into the group, but I'm saying, okay, great. Have them register. A few people will register. A few people who are really, you know, true fans will register. You have their email address is great, but then go live from the Zoom to the Facebook business page. And then immediately share that Zoom uh, Facebook live video from the business page into the group. So now you've got, you've got all your bases covered. And be sure to do the Facebook event as well. <laughs> so that all the all the bases covered to be able to reach these uh this this large Facebook group. So yeah. Thanks. <laughs>